Hey everybody, this is Patrick, your friendly neighborhood shaman, and I am sitting down here doing ceremony on the Cedar River. You can hear a whole chorus of robins and birds behind me. I am literally in heaven right here. This is my element. But the reason I came on was because I wanted to talk to you about soul retrieval. Um, I'm going to start out with, like, when I say those words, soul retrieval, how does that feel to you? I know I say that out loud to people just in passing, and they're like, wait, what is that? I think I need that. Um, soul retrieval is one of my favorite, favorite things to do um, as a shaman. And what soul retrieval actually is, in a nutshell, when we have traumas, pardon me, um, where we, like a car accident, like an abusive relationship, something where either like suddenly or over time, um, there's this trauma that makes part of our psyche go off. Um, and in Western terms, we call it dissociation. It's like going into shock after an accident, right? And it can be in the t like times of divorce, times of abusive relationship, like I said. Anything where you go, I have not felt like myself since dot, dot, dot. Fill in the blank. If there is any event, any trauma, anything where you just haven't felt like yourself since that point, that in shamanism we call soul loss. That is a part of your psyche, part of your soul going off to protect itself. It's actually a natural defense mechanism. Um, and in a perfect world, those parts find their way back on their own. But in today's world especially, as we're constantly traumatized and re-traumatized in our everyday life with what's going on in the news, what's going on in other parts of the country, in other parts of the world, whatever. Um, we don't necessarily have space in our energy fields for those parts to find their way back. That's where I come in. Um, I have a specific guide and guides that help me do this process. It's a about an hour and a half to two hour ceremony where I go into a shamanic journey, trance with the drum music, um, and I go and meet my guides. And then they take me to find those parts of your soul that have gone off, split off to protect themselves. And so it's not a magic pill is not like all of a sudden everything will be better that does happen and the main point of it is to make each person feel a little more whole in themselves and when you're whole then some of your challenges just disappear there's no place for them anymore you're whole in those places where the challenges where other energies other people or whatever would come in and bother you, you're whole, There's, you're radiating more light. You picture yourself like a star and you radiate so much light and love outward that nothing of a lower frequency can come in. Um, it can be subtle, it can be extreme, um, the results, but it is a process. And the main point, I always know I need a soul retrieval when I feel like I'm on like one of those rickety Indiana Jones bridges where the, the boards are missing. And so like, I'm kind of off center. I'm like, I've got both my feet close together. I'm easily knocked over because the board I need for me to stand full square and in my strength um, is missing. And so if you think of that metaphor, soul retrieval replaces that board so that you can stand up in your fullness, in your wholeness to face whatever's going on. And it is, it can be, like I said, it can be very subtle. It can be 
amazing. I okay, my my poster child for soul retrieval is a friend who I she was the very first soul retrieval I ever did after I got the training from Sandra Ingerman. And she went from being borderline suicidal to signing up for the master's program in oceanography that she had always wanted to do within a week's time. And now she is living her dream, her dream job. She like does oceanography. She goes out on the ships, tests the oceans, tests the waters. Um, that is an extreme case. Other times it's just, it's more subtle and you, you realize after the fact something happens and you're like, oh my God, I handled that. That just like, like water off a duck's back. I just handled that. A year ago, that would have taken me to my knees, right? So I think if more people knew that this was available, um, more people would be seeking it out. And that's why I'm talking to you today, just to let you know what is available. Soul retrieval is probably the ultimate um, healing technique in shamanism. As a shaman, it is probably the most um, fulfilling. I, I love it. I love my job. I love seeing people come and like they'll come to me and they're all kind of scrunched up and dim. Their light isn't as bright as it could be. We do a soul retrieval and they're like, Oh my God. And they just start to brighten up. And then over time, they get even brighter and brighter. I have people coming back to me years afterwards going, you're not going to believe what just happened. So it's, it's a process where once you start getting soul parts back, it makes room for other parts to find their own way back. So it is a gift that keeps on giving. So if this sounds good to you, if this resonates with you, if you feel, oh my God, I have not been myself since blah, 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 um, then contact me, contact another shamanic practitioner, another shaman. This is um, real energy work. This is restoring people to their wholeness. And the more whole, passionate, radiant people we have on the planet, the better off we all are. It's a mutual healing. As you heal, as you have the courage to seek healing, you actually heal the world. All right, so thank you for listening. I hope this was helpful. You can contact me through my website, perchingwolfstudios.net. Um, and set up a time. If you have questions, feel free to message me on Facebook. Email me at perchingwolf at hotmail.com. Or you can text me at 253-336-0383. I would be glad to answer any questions. I'd be glad and honored to be a part of your healing. So let me know what I can do to support your wholeness. And I will see you soon.